Yo guys, welcome along to a new video today. We're walking through Koalaho and we're heading to a hotel that I've never been to before. I've heard so many things about it and we managed to find a really cheap deal. So we're gonna go for one night and we're gonna check it out and bring you guys along with us. You've come down to the Bristol Playa part of Koalaho, right on the sea. We've got Lobos and Lanzarote in the distance. The camera's not really picking it up very well. Oh, they are, just about there. Lanzarote and Lobos in the distance. And this is about a 10 minute walk from the center of Koalaho and this is the hotel we're staying at tonight. Hesperia, Bristol Playa. Let's go inside and have a look. Here we go, look at this place. Amazing, pool table, air hockey table. A nice little complex with the pool actually over here. There's Izzy, admiring the pool. Seems like there's definitely some kind of like Kalima today. I've heard that we're in like some kind of heat wave as well. We're getting temperatures, at, it's, it's like 30 degrees at the minute. I think it's gonna go up to like 32, 34 today. So it's ridiculously warm. So I'm just looking forward to getting around that pool. Check-in isn't until five o'clock, so I can't show you the rooms until then, but we've left our bags in reception and we're gonna go and chill by the pool. Okay, so we've made it to the pool bar here in the Hesperia Crystal Playa Hotel. Nice little shaded area with some amazing little fake glass. Uh, it's definitely holding up better than the fake glass on my balcony. Um, really nice, really clean, and uh, it's just like a nice basic hotel. Just look, at, look behind us, it's uh, white and brown. It looks really nice actually, to be fair. And a little apartment, it's not really a hotel, I guess, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an apartment it's kind of complex. Um, but we just ordered some food at the pool bar, ordered a sandwich, some water, and the food looks good. It's relatively cheap as well. I think we paid five euros for our sandwich with like bacon, chicken, ham, cheese. Um, you can get all their breakfast for a tenner with coffee included. Uh, and a chicken and salad was like nine euros. So it looks really good food, big portions, and quite cheap for what you get as well. Okay, so food's arrived, five euros. Chicken, cheese, bacon, ham. Not bad, that. Okay, so we finished up at lunch. Had um, quite a big sandwich, actually. Really big sandwich, chicken, bacon, cheese, and ham. In it for five euros, and it was massive. So um, quite a good deal with that. Good value for money, good quality food as well. Um, so happy with that. Now we're chilling by the pool. And it is so hot today, like unbelievably hot. We're probably talking like in the low 30s, 32, 33 I reckon. Just check the weather app, which is always a little bit below what it is. Uh, it says 28 on the weather app, so I'm sure we're in the 30s at the minute though. And the difference is that there's just no wind whatsoever. Normally you get a little bit of wind here, which keeps the temperature down a little bit, keeps it a little bit cooler, but today there is no wind whatsoever. I mean, you can see this tree behind me, right? It's not even moving. So there's barely any breeze. Um, but we're just chilling around the pool. Um, it's quite nice, apart from the fact that it's too hot, so it's making me not want to do anything but sleep. So adding to how hot it is, like I just said, look at the sky. It's not completely clearly blue, like it actually looks a little bit gray on the camera. It's not, it's just the Kalima that we're going through at the minute and the Kalima makes it even more hot at the minute. And as I say, look at the trees, not even moving. So there's no wind whatsoever today. We're in a Kalima and it's just ridiculously hot. Okay, so it's just gone three o'clock. In the afternoon, I um, had to move into the shaded area. Got some shaded beds next to us. I'm one of the only ones here. I'm the only one that Blade lives in Spain, to be fair. But anyway, moved into the shaded area because the UV is 12 today, which is ridiculously high. Um, and I just couldn't hack anymore. So, gonna go to the pool bar, get a drink, show you what the drinks are like here. We've, we've actually just had a drink, but I was too hot to film it. Um, I'm cooling down now and I'm feeling a bit better about life. But um, so I'll film the next one that we get. It's five euros for a sexy beach, and they were absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go get another one right now. All right, so back from the bar, got sex on the beach. Five euros for this, which is decent to be fair. Uh, quite a big cup. I think it's like a pint cup. So five euros for that, and it tastes really, really good as well. We're like sex on the beach connoisseurs. So if me and Izzy think it's good, then it's definitely, definitely good. Okay, so top's back on can't hack the sun anymore, we're in the shaded area. My face is red actually, um, only just noticing that now. I've been sat in the shade for a while actually and I just went to reception to check if our room is ready at half four and it wasn't. I got told to come back in 20 minutes. It's been 40 minutes now, it's 10 past five. Um, it's a really late check-in here. We got told the check-in was at five o'clock, so that's fair enough. But it's a late check-in compared to loads of the other hotels that we've been to. Uh, so it's 10 past five, we still haven't been in the room yet. Um, but we're gonna go back up to reception right now and see if it's ready for us. Okay, so let's check the room. We finally got in 
and first door on the left is the bedroom which is amazing we've got a double bed little window out to the pool area there so lucky to get a double bed because most places you end up with two single beds pushed together little basic bathroom in here with a shower and then coming through here the room is just nice it's nice and basic it's everything you need we uh, got a little kitchen over here and then around here is a sea view we didn't ask for a sea view room but we got upgraded as we booked the norm normal room but they didn't have any spare so we've been upgraded to the sea view room so that's a win now it calls for a bed check Oof. yeah it's pretty good take that it's a win that right so we spent the last few hours in the room having a nap that bed was really good solid solid eight out of ten but i figured i'd come down to the pool area now and show you guys a bit more of the pool area. The pool's now closed, it closes at 7 p.m. The wind's picked up a little bit, it's a little bit. It's a nice evening actually, but um, the wind's picked up a little bit. I just figured that I'd show you guys the pool area now whilst it's quiet, there's no one here. Because earlier on there was a few kids running around, so didn't really want to like properly film the pool area and that. So I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what it's like right now. So it's a little bit windy, hopefully it won't get picked up on the camera, but this is one of the main pools here. We had a little dip in this one earlier when we um, when we got into the room, we went and got a towel and had a little dip in this pool. If you walk over here, got some more sunbeds. We were staying in this area earlier on, it's shaded. Uh, the sun was so hot today, the UV was so high. So started off over here and went back into the shade a little bit later on. This is one of the kids pools. And then, if you keep walking around here, it's a really nice little complex actually. It's a three-star hotel, but it's um, really quite decent. We uh, we paid for tonight's stay. We paid 45 euros actually just for one night to come and show you guys what it's like. This is another pool. Again, really nice little pool. Starts off shallow, gets a little bit deeper over there. And then, if we walk around here, this is the pool bar. And this is the pool bar where we ate and we got our drinks from earlier on and it was really decent. I think the pool bar closes at seven o'clock as well. Uh, they've got a little bit of music here so you're not sitting in silence around the pool. And the food was really, really good, really cheap. And the drinks were really, really good and also really cheap. So yeah, look at that, look at that little sunset up there. The wind's picked up earlier on, there was no wind whatsoever. But there we go. And our apartment is just over here, close to the reception. So nice, lovely little complex, I think. Um, getting a good review from me so far. It's much easier coming and showing you guys the pool at this time of night because there's literally no one here to watch me vlogging because that's like the worst part of this job. People watching you do this is so embarrassing. Um, so yeah, that's why I've come down at this time of night. It's nice, sunsets, and it's empty to show you guys what it's like completely. So, but first impressions of this place are really good. As I said, there's a little souvenir shop just down there as well where you can buy some little stuff. We got some water from there early on pool table air hockey table over here vending machines over here as well so yeah it's quite everything you need really so we're back in the apartment now I'm getting ready to go out or oh, I'll just quickly show you the balcony view as well actually so this is onto our balcony and the, the view is just over here of Bristol player which is lovely CV room which we didn't pay for even more of a bargain um, so yeah we're back in the room we're ready to go uh, Izzy's just finishing off getting ready and we're going to go into Coelho tonight and we're going to go to a place that I've done a video about on this channel before it's called Pepperoni Pizza and it's in the Old Town uh, if you want to know more about that place, I'm not going to film it tonight because I've already done it so if you want to watch that video I'll recommend it at the end of this one but yeah Pepperoni Pizza is um, one of the best places to go for pizza here and the cheesy bread starter is amazing so I'm already thinking about that so I'm going to put the vlogging camera down, I'm going to go for dinner and a few drinks with some friends and I'll probably catch up with you right before bed tonight if I'm in any state to do so. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be too drunk. But anyway, if not, we'll speak in the morning. Good morning, and it is the second day, which is also the last day. Um, and I uh, had a really good night's sleep, actually, in the bed. Well, I say a good night's sleep. I slept really well because the bed was really comfortable. But I woke up quite a few times. There's a couple of problems that I realised through the night, which is, number one, there's no fan, there's no aircon. And the only window, for us anyway, is here. And uh, it's just really easy for anyone to climb in, so we didn't open that through the night. And the same story with the balcony, because we're on the bottom floor, we're on the ground floor, it's so easy to just climb through the balcony, so we couldn't open that all night either. 
so it was ridiculously hot last night. I mean, right now, outside is uh, mid-30s, about 35, 36 degrees. Um, and so, yeah, last night was really, really hot. We had no air conditioning, no fan, no air coming through whatsoever, really. So that was one problem. The other problem is that the window is right next to reception. And we had people walking past the window all day and all night and all, the, all this morning as well, um, being loud. Even their footsteps was waking me up. So, all in all, hotel is nice, it's basic, it's three stars. So, it's everything, it's got everything you need for a three star hotel, um, I, I would say. But if I was ever to stay here again, which I probably would, um, if I didn't already have a house in Kualahe, um, then I would definitely ask for a room to be with a balcony, so be further up so you can open your windows, because um, the ground floor rooms are not ideal for that. But anyway, hope you like this video. If you've ever stayed in the Hesperia Bristol Playa Hotel, then comment in the box below, let me know your experience of it. And if you're coming here and you've got any more questions, then put them down there as well and I'll try to answer them for you. Cheers for watching this video, make sure you like it, that really helps me out. Subscribe if you're new around here and we'll see you next time.